chance. When fishing bass, structure is key, especially if it's adjacent to deeper water. Bass like deep water as it provides security from predators. Structure you should pay attention to on clear wilderness lakes are rocky shorelines, shoals, fallen trees, weed beds, beaver lodges, or anything that will provide cover for ambushing prey. Hawk Lake is blessed with an abundance of structure like this. See a bass underneath it, but he's not taking it. See him fall. There he goes. <laughs> well, that's, that's a nice fish. I could see him. What he did is he came over the rock, so yeah. I could see his dark shadow. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, here we go. So I gave it a couple quick pops, and then let's sit. And he took it on the pause. So he. What I did was, and the reason I do that, Ted, is I got taught that if you do the real quick pops and then let it sit, it's the, I'm trying to get away, but all of a sudden it pauses because it's there's something wrong with it. And they are always <laughs> looking for something to distress. Yeah. So, oh, look at this. This guy's so strong. Just can't get away. <laughs> oh, what a quality fishery. Look at that. Pretty fish. How, how could anybody not enjoy this? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful bass. So we're using a um, 10 pound tippet. I'm using a nine foot leader, just with the poppers, just to get it away. And it, oh, I like using a tapered leader. When I'm, oh yeah, when I'm using, <laughs> oh look at that. Oh, wow. bring that to you. When, when we're using that. Wow. We're using a tapered leader because I want to flip that popper you can see it right in the corner. And he'll just, he'll just come out real easy there. Look at that. So you can see just a little popper like that. You got a nice size fish. It's just almost 18. Yeah, 18. Just a tit under 18. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. All right, I'll get him in here. And I'll just bring him up on my hand. And I'll leave. This is the post-spawn period with many large females that are hungry and feeding heavily. They're often cruising along rocky shorelines and hanging near drop-offs. During this time of the year, action can be literally non-stop. Is that the big one? It might be. All right there, Ted. Good job, we just saw this. I'm throwing a pike fly and I had a big, big bass come in and fall and uh, Said to Ted, oh yeah, that's a, nice, that's a nice fish. And I hate to say it, that's a big fish. That wasn't the fish. No. Like the one I saw was six pounds. Was he? Oh yeah, oh, that's big it. fish. Okay, oh, okay. So we wanna be bringing these fish in relatively quick. That's beautiful, beautiful fish. What's this, like four feet of water? Yeah. There you go. All right. Head first. Well, that's 18. Yeah. That's 18. He's well fed. And a little tiny popper. Right in the corner of the jaw here. There you go. You see? Yellow on the bottom is the color today that's working with these guys. And it's nice because the camera can see these on, on the surface, but it's good for us as anglers to see it. But yellow. Something dark. If it was a light day, we might go something light. All right. Beautiful. Good job, Ted. Pretty fish. Bam. Oh, I got him. Oh, yeah. At Hawk Lake, I use poppers to entice the smallmouth into vicious surface strikes. Here he comes. Oh, there he comes. comes. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> when using poppers, there's a few key things to remember. After you cast to a likely looking spot, such as fallen timber or a rocky point, let the popper sit after it lands. Avoid the temptation to start your retrieve. I like to wait until the surface rings have dissipated before popping the fly. Very often, this is when I've caught some really nice fish. Next, just make one pop of the fly, then again, wait. Very often, this is when a fish that has been eyeing your fly will strike. The last point is that when retrieving the fly, 
Mix it up a bit. Use a slow popping retrieve, a fast one, and sometimes a combination of both. That way, you'll be able to ascertain what they want. Here comes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Do the test. 18 and a half. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bass. So Colin, uh, throughout this uh, shoreline right here, uh, pinpoint accuracy is really essential. You gotta be right up against that shoreline because within the first two or three feet, it drops off from 18 inches to nearly 12 feet. So this fish will be hanging very tight to the shoreline. So if you, you, you're off your mark a little bit, you're gonna have a harder time catching those fish. Perfect, right against that shoreline. Bam! Oh, I got him. oh yeah. All right. Now back us up there a little bit. There's two, three other fish here. Yeah, they're following them. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. You can see them under here. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. I'm using an eight weight rod. I was throwing some bigger poppers. That's a decent fish. And that's not the big one. Now that was nice, slow, deliberate, deliberate rise up, and he just inhaled it. Sometimes a splashy take, that one is more like he sucked it right in. Beautiful. Pretty fish. Get all the classic bars on the sides and the stripes on the chin. Or chin, the cheeks, I should say. So much fun. Beautiful day. The equipment used on this trip are six weight, nine foot rods with large arbor reels for the smallmouth, and for pike, eight weight, nine foot rods with large arbor reels. The lines used were weight forward floating bass taper lines when using poppers, and full sinking type three lines for subsurface pike fishing. The flies used were various colors of poppers, white zonkers, red deer hair streamers, and large jointed deer hair streamers. Slow take. Oh, that was sweet. That was really almost in slow motion. Slow motion yeah. take. He was right down by that rock. Oh, that's a I nice think. one. That's a nice oh, one. Oh yeah, it's really nice. <sighs> Beautiful fish. Look at that. Okay. Oof. Oh yeah. That sweet. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a solid 17. Oh yeah. Maybe even 18. You want to check it? Sure. See how my, my one. 17 and a half is my guess. Let's see, There's zero. It is 17 and a half. You've done this a bit. Once or twice. <laughs> Hawk Lake guest cabins, all with lakeside decks, are private, spacious, and tastefully furnished. Cabins are one, two, three, or four bedroom in design. Each cabin has at least one full private bath and is fully carpeted with electrical heating. All cabins look out onto the lake and provide a wonderful place to relax and recharge after a full day of fishing. One of the reasons why the fishing is so exceptional here is we've been practicing catch and release for over three decades. The fishing uh, is exceptional for, for many reasons. There's a large forage base as well as crystal clear water which really uh, allows the fish to grow to uh, huge sizes. The bass anywhere from 18 to 22 inches. The walleye from 25 all the way up to 34 and 35 inches are actually common on these lakes. And that's really because we've been practicing uh, catch and release for many, many years. Uh, Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe and you can get all our weekly uploads.